this is a $40,000 drone and this is a $1,000 drone that you can buy right now and fly without a license. Today, we're gonna take these bad boys out and test them and scan a whole environment to see if the drone makes any difference. I hope there is a difference. <laughs> Imagine if this turns out to be a better Maybe. nerf. <laughs> As a bonus, we're gonna show you our two most successful flight paths. They resulted in highly detailed and mind-blowingly giant 3D scans of the city. They are unbelievable. But it ain't just that. Once we have these scans, we can do anything with them. You wanna make it moody? Add some rain. You wanna make it mysterious? Add some fog. Can we turn it to winter? Sure. But first, let's compare the drone. This one, you got one controller. <laughs> one person that does everything. With this one, you got two, right? So. Oh, wow. So the pilot controls the drone, and the camera operator controls the camera. I can see that the opponents are getting ready. Patrick is getting his <laughs> Inspire 3 Pharaohs. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving to the competition ground. Yeah. This is our referee. Wilson, what do you think? Who's gonna win? I'm ready, boss. This is round one. Fight! So here was my strategy. I was already at a disadvantage going up against an Inspire 3 because the camera's clearly better than mine. So, I didn't want to take the same altitude as Patrick because my camera will probably lose in detail. So what did I do? Well, I went all the way up in the air and then I used the auto track feature to select the studio and did a super slow orbit around it. I shot at 4K 30 frames per second with a DCNA RAW format H.265. I also shot with the lowest ISO possible and the highest shutter speed to make sure I reduce motion blur. Okay, Faraz, how do you feel? I feel great, I feel confident. Round two, fight. Okay, yeah, going up. Taking off. What? What is going on? How come the referee is helping Patrick? Dude, there was two controllers. Patrick was flying the drone, so I took care of the camera. Anyways, Farhad and Patrick completed an orbit just like mine, but at a much lower altitude. All the recordings were done with DNG, which is a raw format at 4K 30 frames per second. We could shoot, of course, with a higher resolution with DJI Inspire 3, but since Luma down samples them anyway, this was redundant. So once the guys were done with their orbit, we actually decided to test out other flight paths with the Inspire 3. Not for comparison's sakes, but just to see the quality of the scans that we're gonna get out of it. We'll show you guys all of the results at the end of this video. For scanning the environments and recreating them in 3D, we're using a technology called Neural Radiance Fields, or in short, nerfs. There are many ways to create a nerf, but for today's purpose, we are going to be using Luma AI. Why? Because we are going to leverage their plugin to bring our nerfs into Unreal Engine. Here are the final results. Does the drone matter? Let's see. First, the DJI Mini Pro 3. Yo! This is wow. cool. This is, this is, this is amazing for a thousand dollar drone. Right? Okay, I'm gonna lock this. For a new pilot like you. Thank you. Um, look, yeah. okay, look at the detail. Of course, if you go close up, right, you don't have the detail you need if you're trying to take any sort of close up shots on top of the building. Dude, really look cool. at the trees. Look at the trees at the back. You see all the buildings? all the cars. And you know the cars are not mushed in together. They're not blended in. You can see the lines in between the trucks as well. But I mean, I did make one mistake because I was looking down towards the ground. Of course, my nerf sort of cuts off at a certain point and I don't have any detail, any sky or any of the skyline at the back. I would say that you did a good job, actually. Right? This is pretty cool. I have a chance to fighting yeah. with a $1,000 yeah. drone. And now? The DJI Inspire 3. Get ready to lose, Patrick. Whoa. Whoa, dude. This is so clear. Yo, this is the whole freaking city. Wow. Do you see the skyline <laughs> at the back? Can you go at a different altitude? Oh my God. Wow. Yo, he has the whole oh, Holy smokes. You should have a Superman scene with this. Like you can easily fly a drone. Wow. This is exactly what he was looking for. Dude, do you see, dude, wow, this is one this orbit is, and you have the whole city in the shot. Start do flying see, around, start Do you see the around. amount of trees, cars, trucks, buildings, buildings the highway, the bridge? The road, wow. Imagine making this from scratch. Holy shit. There's a slightly higher amount of sharpness in the edges of the items in the scene, such as the building. It is a better camera, but also because we were shooting at a closer altitude towards these objects. Whereas with the DJI Mini Pro 3, we were going to a higher altitude. One lesson learned here for everybody watching is if you're trying to do a scan of an environment, 
don't do what I did. Don't go all the way up in the air, point your camera down and omit the skyline at the back. Try to go at an altitude that Patrick and Farad went, which is literally at the altitude we're flying right now to capture the floor, the ground, plus the skyline at the back. And that way you'll be able to use as much as the environment as possible. All right, just for a quick conclusion here, if you load in my nerf versus Patrick's nerf, the quality is very comparable. It's extremely comparable. And with the price gap that you can see, if you have a DJI Mini Pro 3, you can almost get the same result. So if you have a DJI Mini Pro 3, you don't need a license, you can go out and scan the whole environment. Of course, the Inspire tree gave us a better result, yeah. but the difference is not that great. Honestly, the DJI Mini Pro 3 is good enough if that's the drone that you can afford and if that's the drone that you can fly depending on where you're from because you know you need a license and all that and we don't have one so that's why the DJI Mini Pro 3 is perfect for us and the quality is so close that at the end of the day if you add in your post-process volume a little bit of color grading a little bit of film grade you're probably not going to even notice even Patrick a pro pilot had something to say about the DJI Mini Pro 3. And there's advantages to every drone. I use that one professionally all the time. I use it when I scout, you yeah. know? If you just need a camera in the sky to see what you're looking at, this is perfect. This is the easiest one, right? Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you want to map an area and you don't have airspace permission to be there, then this is the one. And now it's time for that bonus that we promised you guys earlier in the video. The two most successful flight paths that we had, and we're gonna share it with you because they produced fascinating results. See it for yourself. For the first one, we flew in a straight line for a long distance then stopped, raised our altitude, and flew back the same line while still looking forward. Here's the nerf. Now for the second one, we did only a quarter of an orbit. And just like the last one, when we stopped, we raised the altitude and went back in the same direction. Check it out. So if this is your first time hearing about nerfs, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You can do so many things. Can you show them? What, now? Yeah. Okay. When you got a nerf, you can change the environment, the lighting, you can make it snow, make it rain, make it dusty, make it foggy. You can do whatever you want. And there you have it. That is the comparison video between a $1,000 drone and a, a $40,000 $40, drone. And clearly you can see that there's no big difference between these two drones considering the price point. So if you can only afford a DJI Mini Pro 3, you're in luck because you can create amazing 3D scans and amazing nerfs. This video was part of a tour that we did at Peacemaker Fieldworks, which they showed us all of their vehicles, all of their drones, we flew an Alta X. Yeah. If you guys want to watch that video, I will link it right here. So make sure you guys check that out. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, Oh my God, what are you what doing? Are, what in the world are you doing watching until now and not subscribing? For God's sake, man. I'll give you five bucks, See 10 you bucks, it. 20, hey, from who? 50, from whose pocket? 100 bucks, 200 bucks. I'll, I'll pay you right now. Go and subscribe, okay? Do See it. you guys in the next video. See you.